Hey everybody, this is Vril. Welcome back to our playthrough of Extended Timeline. World War II is the German Reich here, so we're just, again, rebuilding manpower. We just invaded all of Switzerland and Belgium, so we're annexing both of them at this point. We're also actually Diplo annexing Slovakia here. We had owned them as a vassal for about 10 years, so we have some rebel issues. I'm going to go ahead and build some... Uh, courthouses, I think. Let's see here. We've got... Let me switch to our unrest screen, and I'm going to build one in Krakow, um, Danzig, and Posen here. If I'm saying that correctly, I'm not sure. So Danzig and Krakow, and I think Belgium actually already has courthouses, but the... Uh, Switzerland does not, so let's put one, like, in Bern here. That should work out. And we were going to build some more ships as well. We've got 30 transports. Let's build a few more battleships, actually. Let's build about 10 more, I'm thinking. Maybe, yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and build 10 more, and that should really help us out going forward. So we have to actually have about 10 ships in the queue here, the, between, about, I think we have 10 transports, and we've got 10 battleships. And again, we're integrating Slovakia here, so we'll probably take a diplomatic hit once we're done with that. It's not too long now. Of course, we've got the rebel issues. It's going to take a year to build all these. We've had constant rebel issues. I should have built these courthouses much er earlier than I have. And I would like to go into Norway, but we've got a truce time until 1953. And actually, Finland just took advantage of the uh, Norway as well. I'd like to probably annex all of Finland and put them under our RK Norden lands here. Possibly possibly I could split this between Norden and our Ostland here. So we've got Prospering Times. What do we want? I think I'm going to take the admin power. That actually reminds me. I might just go ahead and hopefully I'm not unlucky in this. Sometimes I boost and then uh, <laughs> and then I get you know some event that sets it right back down. So 242 we're going to boost that. That should help with any rebel issues that we have as an option for them anyway, so that should help. Let's go ahead. Okay, we're about done. Yeah, so it's integrating Slovakia. It's going to give us a negative reputation, but we're going to get the uh, prestige from doing that. Dominican Republic has declared war on their enemy, Haiti, so we've got some of that going on. Not going to support any independence, and... Brazil has been asking us for alliances uh, quite a bit through this series. I'm going to decline it once again, though. I don't want to get involved in a war in South America, so... Yeah, some more of these British East Africa. We could go ahead and invest in new technology, but I'm saving that up for... Uh, coring out the both the Netherlands and parts of France. We're going to be doing that here very soon. Let me put a diplomat in, I think, although, yeah, we were almost there, almost to the max with Turkey there. So let's do a little bit in Italy. And we might need to, as well with, now that these guys are all really, really high, kind of running out of places to uh, uh, improve relations with. I suppose I could do it with the U.S., but it might be an idea. Roosevelt is still president, apparently. It's 1951, so he is the he is the dictator. <laughs> just like just like we are here. Okay. Well, about 200k manpower. I would like to declare war on the. Okay, spread fascism in Osland. Did they just change their government type? Yes, they did. But we obviously 
I don't, I don't even know what the options are for that since they are our vassal. Let me just check this out. Obviously we have a CB for them. They would get allies from this, bread fascism. Huh. So we really can't do anything about that. Not as far as I know anyway. Co covert actions. We lack the proper ideas to do any of that. So that's a, sort of a sort of a bummer. Well, we w we won't be setting them as a march anytime soon. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe Ireland. Here we go. We can improve our relations with Ireland. So we might uh, invade England or Great Britain here soon, and maybe we'll give all that land to Ireland, and we'll set them as a you know, as a vassal of ours. Okay, well... Our manpower is pretty good. I'm thinking... How is our rebel factions doing? Not too good. How are our buildings doing? We've got... A lot of ships. Where were our buildings in here? Unless they already were built. No, they're, they're 120 days out. So that should help once we do that. How many wars have there been against Bolivia so far? This, I guess, Bolivia is down to one province at this point. Really haven't looked at that very much. What's going on here? So we've got Dutch Indonesia, which was the Netherlands for the longest time. The British Nigeria, apparently occupying parts of French Indochina there. Japan has been in pretty good shape through this series because... They are still Asian tech group, though. But because we're allied with them, nobody's actually trying to fight them like they did in the AI-only series. So we've got a bunch of ships that were just completed. Send those over to Sealand here. wonder what the uh, Finnish army is like. So we're going to go in there soon enough as well. I've only got 23k. I'm almost thinking that we declare this war. Although we have no diplomats, so let's quickly... Let's actually, before I do that, make sure all of our ships are in port over here. I don't want to get one of our transports sunk that we just built. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead. Got one more here. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and declare war on the Finland there, and then I'll do what I mentioned before where I give the land. Italy declared war on Yemen once again. I'll give that land to our RK Norden. Reichskommissariat Norden. Okay. Alright, so we wanted to bring back a diplomat. Don't care about... Italy's probably not going to help us with this. They'll probably help us with the, fin uh, the war against the Dutch, though. Okay, we are going June 21st. It's not like we're doing this in the middle of winter. Okay, so the Finns have no allies. We're not going to get any help other than our... Other than our um, vassals, which is good enough, really. So let's go ahead and attach these guys to a transport and head towards... Although we can just go over land, how about that? Or which which would be there soon enough, or sooner? Yeah, we'll, we'll just go over land. Probably be declaring that war against France and the Netherlands in the next episode is what I'm thinking to do. And actually, did I not? Can we do this? Yes, we can. Okay, I thought since we were in foreign territory, we might not be able to do that. Set that leader. But we are. Our truce with Spain has ended. That's because of our, um, our alliance had ended with them at some point earlier. This little 17k stack's a little bit worried if there was actual rebels um, rising up. Trade efficiency, a, a severe trade crisis. 
Trade efficiency, minus 25. It's only for a year. Let's go ahead and do the uh, severe crisis. All right, let's see. Where are your Finland's... We're going to have to go after their forts, obviously. Where are the forts? That's what I wanted to know. Apparently, Guatemala. Some sort of CB against them. Not sure why we got that. Okay, well, the Finns avoided that battle there. But we're going to be able to siege these down really, really quickly, even though they do have forts, they're very small forts. So we'll see what happens with we want to take out this Finnish army, mainly. Yeah, they want to peace out. We'll see what happens. It'd be nice if... and actually, let's see here, we've got... Subjects, I wonder what they're doing, what they're... I think I set them as... apparently they have no focus, I thought I set it as... Uh, supportive before, but apparently they got reset at some point. Alright, well... We're all the way up to 207k, we've got some rebel uprisings, the Swiss separatists are ready to go it looks like. Let me go ahead and pull one of our stacks closer to Switzerland just in case they do uh, spark up there. We've got this free diplomat. Let's see what it's going to actually cost us here. Return course, not returning anything to Norway. see what this is going to cost us. That's everything. And they'll actually accept it. We almost missed. Yeah, they won't accept it uh, because of that island there. So let's go ahead and we'll need to get everything, all the forts and everything like that. And we're up to 99% and we can probably peace out now. Angola just declared war on, on the Portuguese once again, and we will take all of your money, because I don't think you're going to need it where you're going. Okay. So German Scandinavia. So I will hold on to this land for the moment, but between episodes I'll distribute it out. Like I've said before, um, I really hate the interface for distributing land to your vassals. So I don't want to do that during the actual episode. It's like very, very clunky. But uh, let's see, I don't even know what are we looking at here. So it would be through Grant Province and you have to go through one by one and grant the right pro uh, province. You can't just go click on these and give it to them. So that's why I don't want to waste your guys time with uh, doing that during this actual series. Let me leave. What is these? Let me leave this up here right now, just so that in case there is some sort of rebel uprising up there, I'm not in uh, bad shape there. So actually, the Hungarians have some peasants there that they're dealing with as well. So national decisions. No, we're not going to do abandon secularism. I talked about it, but I think I'm not going to worry about that because it's going to take our stability down minus four. I'm going to go ahead and build some more training fields. We've built a ton of them, but we can always build, build some more and we'll... I guess we've got some new conquered territory that have some pretty good amount of guys, so... Yeah, Switzerland's actually got a decent amount. So, <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Okay. Well, that's, that's a lot of money spent, but that's going to help us once those are built got a min tech military or a diplom diplomacy tech that we can use and we're just about to core out all of our Belgium Belgian provinces so that'll be good our manpower is looking very good as well and we've got a free diplomat that we should probably be using so maybe we should improve relations with the Soviets I'm thinking just to prevent them from wanting to declare war on us at any point in time because we're gonna about to go aggressive here. The European Union. 
Okay. Uh, but soon the whole Europe will identify itself with a single flag. Yeah, that's because we're going to be controlling it. <laughs> Everything's going to be... Okay, we've got... Uh, Romania has joined the European Union. Wow, so this is going to throw a bit of a wrench into things here. Yugoslavia just joined it as well. Wow. So how does that work? Is that a... Um, imperial sort of thing? Iceland has joined it. Yeah, it looks like it's an... Um, basically use the imperial map. Bulgaria has joined it. Well now. That... <laughs> does change things a little bit going into the next episode, but we will see how it goes. Catalonia's joined. We will not be joining the European Union. Is that a decision that has come up in here? Dismantle the European Union. So that's probably what we'll have to do. <laughs> we gain a pretty good amount of prestige by doing so. Okay. Looks like we're almost done building all of our ships as well. So that while they might be building their European Union... It's a little early for a European Union, isn't it? It's only 1953. It's like one thing if it was the United Nations, but another thing if it's the European Union. Our manpower is looking really good right now, so I'm, I'm going to be really confident going into I think it'll be next episode when we declare war on the Netherlands, I guess. So finish off all these boats, and we're actually coming up on that truce timer with the Norwegians. So let's actually go ahead and do that as well. Let's see, did they join the EU? I think they did, but let's see here. Don't have that map. I think they did. Actually, no, I don't think they did. Because they're not on that map. I don't know where Greece just joined it, so yeah, they're not on that. So let's quickly... How long do we have? We have truce timer till December. So let's quickly do this. Quickly. Before they join the EU got apparently Congo is uh, somehow allowing us to declare war on them now probably a new country or something like that that's usually what those are when they pop up I mean the Soviets are kind of our <laughs> one of our allies against the uh, European Union here What is our supply limit where we're, we're camping out here? 58, so that works out. Coming up on December. So we're going to declare this war. Truce timer, that's got to be what it was. So let me expand the bodyguard. So the office of the Fuhrer is challenged by enemies within and without. Uh, and, without. and thus a strong personal bodyguard is essential. So yeah. We'll take that and we'll lose some Republican tradition, but that's good. We've got the stability. All right, so I'm sorry to our Norwegian friends. You have a pretty good relationship with us. However, we're going to be declaring war on you. And I think they only have, let's look at our forts, one fort left. So this should be very quick. Need to wait for this diplomat to come back, though. Five days! Come on. Ah, we have transfer trade power with them, so can we end that somehow? Cancel transfer trade power. Because we're, oh, we're going to be transferring some trade power here soon. We cannot do this now until January 24th, so this is a thorn in our side. And it does look like we're out of time for this episode, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you did, please hit the like button as it really helps out the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.